is closed indefinitely. You know, we are used to dashing through this airport. Show my ID, get my e-ticket, run through security, and I am off. You know, those days are over, and, uh, you know... David we, we Stempler of the Air Travelers Association says that the country has got to rethink the entire airport security system, turning it over to a uniformed federal security force like the U.S. Customs Service. We have asked for years that this security function ought not be provided by private companies like airlines. They're really not equipped to do that, and, and when they do do it, they subcontract it up to someone else at the lowest bid. And Stempler says no matter who's doing security. A lot of checks, a lot of double checks, uh, and there's going to be a lot of nervous people all over the place. There is plenty to be nervous about. A just-released CBS News New York Times poll finds that 85% of Americans now favor military retaliation. I think it's deserving for whoever was behind all this. They deserve to get and what's coming to them. Doesn't U.S. retaliation just provoke another round of terrorism? Well, it may provoke uh, another round of, of terrorism, but there's another round of terrorism coming in any event. Former U.S. Senator and Defense Secretary William Cohen, now a CBS News consultant, says that the U.S. must react with the same resolve as it did after Pearl Harbor. Are we talking about uh, a return to the draft? Uh, that's conceivable. Uh, I don't think it's necessary at this point, but I think whatever it takes. We've seen now the uh, terrible damage that can be done by an aircraft uh, loaded with fuel. But there are even more dangerous um, uh, methods that they are contemplating, biological warfare that could infect uh, our entire population, a chemical weapon, possibly even small nuclear weapons. Cohen says the only way the nation can head off new terrorist attacks is by establishing a high-powered global intelligence network. But that brings different problems. How do we get it? Do we resort to uh, racial or ethnic uh, profiling, something that we have resisted and should resist very strongly in a democratic society? Um, but is that an issue that will come to the fore? US passport US passport ahead. It has already arrived. With calls for tighter border controls and new visa and immigration restrictions, Dan Stein is executive director of the Federation for American Immigration Reform. We certainly have to do a better job screening people from certain countries where there's known to be terrorist operatives. We also shouldn't be admitting people who, for who their presence here isn't in the U.S. national interest. Aliens attempting to enter with fraudulent documents. There's a difference between security and being prejudiced. And I'd, I'd like to see us be able to walk that fine line. I think it's one of the things that makes us so strong, our, our, the breadth of our and diverse quality of our population, that we are a, a beacon to so many other people in the world. So this is a defining moment for our nation, a test of whether the unity and patriotism on display this week will endure with the prospect of more bloodshed to come and of changes to our way of life that we haven't even begun to contemplate. No one is safe. We're all on the front lines in this war. Ahead for America Rising, examples to emulate. Go to Blockbuster and pick up a free CBS sneak peek video. Looking good. See what's hot on television this fall. Oh, again. Okay, good. It's only at Blockbuster, and it's free. The healing, the investigation, the latest on the aftermath, and of America Rising, this week on The Early Show with Bryant Gumbel and Jane Clayson. Simon Baker and Dabney Coleman, The Guardian, premieres CBS Tuesday, September 25th. They open up to late-night fun to Sunday family outings. From the bus, to the train, to destinations all over the world, they open up to the road to success. And with hundreds of new buses and trains, they bring people together. More than a million people like you step through them every day. Every day, Metro opens doors. 
The Washington, D.C. region has been recognized for the work ethic, productivity, and skill of its workforce. The exceptional quality of our labor force has played a significant part in the achievements of our home and our country, and we continue to grow through the pride of the people who make this hometown work. Phillips provides services for families and their children with severe behavioral, emotional, and learning disabilities. Braganeer Masonry Contractors Incorporated, United Planning Organization. For people who have to deal with the harsh realities of life, there is hope. There is Volunteers of America. Volunteers of America serves the emotional, physical, and spiritual needs of more than one and a half million people a year. Volunteers of America. There are no limits to carry. Find out how you can help. Call 1-800-899-0089 today. Bruce Johnson, weekends at 6 and 11 on 9 Eyewitness News. It's Sunday morning on CBS. Our hearts have gone out this week to all the thousands of victims of this vile atrocity and to their grieving families. God, please, we should hide them. We have now seen what damage hatred can do, what sorrow fanaticism can bring about. Carry this guy the ambulance. In a sense, every one of us in this country has been wounded. The dreadful scenes burned into our consciousness forever, leaving scars that will never go away. Yet, these awful, depressing days have also shown us inspiring things. We have seen a thousand touching scenes of love and kindness, of sacrifice, bravery, loyalty, and heroism. We in this country have been drawn closer together. We have come to appreciate each other more, and our country more. Whatever our differences, in age or race, faith or politics, we are indeed one nation, indivisible. Maybe it took a jarring shock and a terrible loss <laughs> to make us better realize what blessings we have here and what is truly important in our lives. We, the people, are America. United we stand. And to say that we love America means nothing if it doesn't mean that we love and care about one another. Right on target. Now there's a men's hair color made to target only your gray hair. Grecian 5. It's right on target. In five easy minutes, Grecian 5 targets only the gray hair, replaces it with subtle tones like your own natural color. Right on target. It matches the rest of your hair for a subtle, natural look. Grecian 5 targets only the gray. The real story will never be captured from a safe distance, only discovered by those who delve beneath the surface. When was the last time something you read challenged you? The New York Times. Expect the world. Even at the most terrible of times, there are important lessons to be learned from history. Mark Phillips has some good examples. The cloud of smoke and debris that enveloped Manhattan as the Trade Center fell smothered more than life. More than buildings collapsed here. The American sense of security disintegrated in a heap as well. 
Gone was that feeling that history, with its often destructive consequences, happened somewhere else, far away, across the water. If one phrase was repeated over and over in the aftermath vigils New Yorkers have held, it was that things will never be the same, and that's certainly true. But recent history contains lessons on human resilience. Things may never be exactly the way they were, but things will be okay in a different kind of way. Where do the lessons come from? From places like Sarajevo, where the destruction came not in one blast from the blue, but over years, where life was shattered daily, where not just buildings, but bodies and minds were broken. You lose people, you lose friends, you lose family, and that can never be compensated. There is no compensation for that, so everything else material can be rebuilt. Arnel Hetchimovich lived through the three and a half years of the Sarajevo siege and saw the city rebuild itself and its people put their lives back together. What choice did they have? The human spirit is something that that's, I believe it can never be conquered, and many tried. Um, you have to get on, you have to get on with it. You have to try to just think that better things will come and you have to adjust. There is no other way, there is simply no other way. Another example, Beirut. Vast swaths of it leveled in a decade of civil war, terrorist bombings, and foreign invasion. The Paris of the Middle East had its heart ripped out. Whether or not hearts can ever repair themselves, the city did. The wounds of hatred may never fully heal, but enterprise and a will to get on with life has brought back some of the former glory. So what of this Beirut on the Hudson? Terror did this, terror that may not be over. How do you live with that? Britain knows IRA bombs have created scenes of destruction which may not rival New York's, but which were bad enough. Londoners have lived with terror for more than three decades during the so-called troubles in Northern Ireland. The response to rebuild, to show that while terrorism might cause death and destruction, the only sensible approach is to prove that life could not be permanently disrupted. Call it defiance. And call it vigilance, even if that involves police checkpoints around town, surveillance cameras, and some suspension of civil liberties. Other defiance, Israel. Only weeks after a suicide bomber killed himself and 15 others in Jerusalem, the pizzeria has reopened, and Israelis, including transplanted Americans like Ed Reddig, adjust. Those tools are this, this same process that gets you out of bed in the morning and doesn't keep you, you know, cowering under your bed sheets every morning. You, you have to get up, you have to get out, you have to go about your life in the most normal way possible. History is full of examples of cities and peoples rising from the ashes, London after the Blitz, certainly, but also Berlin, and perhaps most famously, Dresden, after the most notorious firebombing of the Second World War. And Hiroshima, perhaps the greatest example of them all. What does dusting yourself off and starting all over again take? Resolve, certainly, character, and those who have been there say, something else. The community spirit will have to, is something that comes up on the surface to help less fortunate ones, to help fellow ones, and, and just to try to get, get through this. The sense of drawing together. Absolutely. It's a feeling that's already been evident among New Yorkers, as they now face the test so many others have faced and passed. Next, memories of the Twin Towers. Enter a new era of discovery at Bristol-Myers Squibb, where groundbreaking genetic research is underway. Winning the Tour de France was a victory for cancer medicines, but Luke, it's just the start of incredible things to come. At the Bristol-Myers Squibb Center for Applied Genomics, researchers strive to unlock the secrets of breast cancer, Alzheimer's, and diabetes to lead the way in new frontiers against disease. Hope, triumph, and the miracle of medicine. Bristol-Myers Squibb Company. Whatever you're looking for, 
more, you'll find it on switchboard.com. The free online yellow pages with businesses, people, and products nationwide. Plus maps and directions that help you get there. Switchboard.com. It's the yellow pages electrified. In this time of need, the American